Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video. Hello podcast world, welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Today we are gonna be doing what? Spilling the tea, as we gonna call it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, out there for everyone, everybody, let everyone know that hey, super inflation is a thing. It seems like the government is getting back their money from those stimulus checks. Cause one of my favorite stores, the Dollar Tree, has gone from being everything is a dollar to they added a quarter to everything. Like it's a dollar twenty five. Where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Like now you're gonna change the store to a dollar and a quarter tree, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna change the store to a dollar twenty five tree, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, why are we, what, what What? do we do to deserve this, you know? It's not our fault that we've been going through this COVID pandemic since I don't know when. Like, come on. <laughs> Help us, not hurt us. I mean, the, the, the debt that we are in, trillions of dollars, zillions of dollars, who cares? It's not going to matter in the long run. Like, give us some relief from all the death that we've experienced in the process of dealing with COVID. Like, nobody knows what it's like to deal with this COVID situation. Like, we didn't ask for this. We didn't start this. But you go know what? We would sure appreciate it if you damn sure finished it. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> COVID is here. It's here. And some of the effects that it's caused against this country, against the world, is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. It's here forever. <laughs> you're never getting rid of this whole COVID situation. Because you know why? Because it's here to stay. You're always going to have to deal with the mask. You know, masks are here to stay. Like, it's already, I don't understand why we weren't masking up before. People coughing and not covering their faces or whatever. Giving out just uh, the germs and common colds and anything of that nature, you know? Like, what what's going on, people? <laughs> like, sickness has been around for years. And, hell, I feel like if we can beat polio and some of the other, uh, um, you know, Things that we've come up against, uh, I, I don't really can't really think of anything. But uh, you know, I know that we uh, beat polio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, not really. You know, that's way before my time, so I'm not really sure about all the ins and outs of that. But I know uh, polio ultimately could take your your legs, take your ability, give you paralysis, take your ability to walk. Um, again, if I wanted to do some research, I would do the research. But you do your own research. That's what I say. I'm just putting it out there. And <clears throat> every time that there's... Um, look at it like this. The Great Depression, it lasts for what? About, what, 12 years? 8 years? You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Like, um, thank God for... My favorite president, which is Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, you know what I'm saying? One of the greatest presidents of his time. Um, <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken, he was a Democrat. And my favorite thing about him, that in college, I was in government, and people don't understand, but this great man... In his speech, in his electoral speeches or whatever, said this, and this is still going to hold on to me today. It is one of the most powerful things a president could ever say, and it doesn't, uh, is not uh, racist or anything. Because uh, at that point in time, you needed to hear this. You needed this. 
and he said this to the people a chicken in every pot I was like he said that I want to vote for him you know I want to go back in time and vote for Roosevelt because who out there right now would turn down a chicken in their pot alright you 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 won off of that one statement. There are sometimes some things that the president say that's like, oh, that was the right thing to say at the right time. There is never a wrong time to say a chicken in every pot. He didn't say a chicken in that person's pot or this person's pot or that colored person's pot. He said in every pot there will be some chicken. And if you don't like chicken... You vegetarian, vegan, or some crap? Then I, I'm pretty sure that everyone in their life at some point in time has eaten some chicken. But it's not even that he said every pot getting some chicken. It's the fact of the matter. At that point in time, people were starving. They were going through, um, you know, what I'm saying in order to eat, they had to go stand in line and go to soup kitchens, you know what I'm saying, and that was just like freaking bald water, and just think about it, you know, like back then people were so much thinner and skinny and unhealthy, and now it's like everyone is fat and wasteful and unhealthy, so it's like a seesaw, a spectrum that we're uh, unbalanced, unhinged, uh, it's like back then, <sighs> There was war going on. And every time there's war going on, there is a transition. Now, every few decades or so, there's a... Or every decade, maybe. I don't know. And it just depends on uh, how you want to look at it. Um, back then, you had the, you know, prohibition, bootleg... All of that kind of stuff going on, and then they were like, you know what? <laughs> let's there's nothing wrong with alcohol. I just imagine if back then uh, they would have said, oh, there's nothing wrong with marijuana. <laughs> just imagine, you know. But it's cool. Let's smoke cigarettes. You know, it's killing people. We have evidence of it. It's so bad that we can't even advertise anymore. And the, we have counter advertisements, which is pretty much paid for by the same people. Because it's almost like saying, don't look down. Don't do this. Don't smoke. And that's the, the alternative way of getting in someone's brain. Don't smoke. Don't do that. Don't do this. But it relieves my stress and takes my breath away. You know, the breath that God breathed into me to give me life. So, hey, you know. <clears throat> I, uh, as a pattern, come across noticing that people who smoke uh, don't have a healthy life. Like, their life expectancy is definitely lessened. Like, they're more prone to having a heart attack or something of that nature. And I don't understand uh, those who smoke and have asthma like it will never register for me how they do that I mean come on just think about it there's so much more to the story at the end of the day and I appreciate you for listening to me spill the tea <laughs> cause hyper Inflation, super inflation is real. And I don't know what more to say. <laughs> I would sure like a chicken in my pot, you know. I would definitely like to uh, drop prices like it's hot. It seems like everyone is getting into alternative ways to make money, more online, um, you know. Which is great. It's great. You know what I'm saying? If you can make money from home, that, that right there is great. That is good for the economy. It's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for them. Um, it's a great hustle, you know. And 
if you can figure it out and make everything work out for you, uh, then cool, you know. If you can sell t-shirts online, then do that. If you could podcast or YouTube or whatever, then do it. It's great. <laughs> it's great for you. I feel like um, why I don't I don't talk as much as I used to. I don't podcast as much as I used to. And there was a point where I was doing it at least once a day, and I was on fire. And I got on here, and I just didn't care what I talked about. And I just rambled on and on. And I was like, oh, let me get about fifteen minutes worth of talking on my podcast, and you know. I will be good to go because that's what the people want. So, or at least that's what I was giving. You know, I, you never you're supposed to follow the trend and care and care what they want to hear, and hear what they want to hear about, and oh, uh, let's see what's popular and see what everybody's doing and copy it and get your your 15 seconds of fame in there and. I don't think that's the case, you know. I feel like either you're going to like what I got to talk about or we have nothing to talk about. I feel like you're going to like me or you're going to love me. You know, love me or hate me, I'm still going to be on top. That's what the song say. So I appreciate y'all, uh, those who do listen to me or whatever, and... Like, I appreciate it. And thank you. And I guess this is me starting off because now I'm starting to get kind of sleepy-ish, you know. Talking does take a lot out of you. And I have to go and shoot a YouTube video. So, thank you.